Welcome to the 10 minutes per day YouTube channel, where you can learn something new each day in 10 minutes or less. Hey, men out there. Have you ever experienced a woman asking which of two paint colors you prefer, but the color cards look exactly the same to you? And, when you say they look exactly the same, your lady calls you crazy and insists that the colors are completely different. It might just mean that she has supervision. No lie. Did you know that there really are women walking among us right now that actually do have supervision? It's true. But, it's not like the kind of supervision that Superman has. Rather, these women have a genetic variation called tetrachromacy. So, you might be wondering, what the heck is tetrachromacy? Well, it's a fancy way of saying that some women have the ability to see more colors than the average person. How is this possible? Well, it all comes down to the number of types of color receptors in our eyes. Most of us have three types of receptors, allowing us to see the colors red, green, and blue. But tetrachromates have a fourth type of receptor, allowing them to see a fourth color dimension. Now, you might be thinking that's cool and all, but what's the big deal? Well, having that fourth dimension of color can have some pretty interesting effects. For one, because of this fourth type of receptor, tetrachromates have an increased ability to see subtle differences in color. This could be a huge advantage in certain jobs, like being a graphic designer or a color matcher. They also have the potential for enhanced night vision, being able to see certain colors in dim light that the average person might miss. So, exactly how many different colors can a tetrachromate see versus a common human, you ask? The average person, known as a trichromate, can see around 1 million different colors. But, a tetrachromate is thought to be able to see up to 100 million different colors. It's important to note, however, that the exact number of colors that a tetrachromate can see is not known for certain, as research on the topic is still ongoing. And, like with anything, there are some downsides to the supervision as well. Tetrachromates may actually have difficulty distinguishing certain colors that are close in wavelength, leading to confusion in certain lighting conditions. They may also experience overstimulation from all the extra visual information they're taking in. This may result in headaches or other issues. So, how common is tetrachromacy? Since it is inherited through the X chromosome, it's thought to only be found in women, who can then pass it down to their daughters. And, it's estimated that up to 12% of all females have the genetic variation that causes it. However, it's important to note that not all individuals who have the genetic variation will actually have the ability to see more colors, as it also depends on the development of the fourth receptor. Therefore, the exact prevalence of tetrachromacy in the population is not completely known yet, as research on the topic is still ongoing. To recap, Tetrachromacy is not considered to be a genetic defect or mutation, but rather a genetic variation that only occurs in some women. It is a naturally occurring variation in the number of types of color receptors in the eye, which results in the ability to see more colors than the average person. It is not harmful or detrimental to the individual and is not inherited as a disease. And, if your wife insists the two colors of paint are different, you probably should believe her. Thanks for visiting the 10 minutes per day YouTube channel, and I hope you learned something new about the world of human vision. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on science and other cool topics. Cheers!